gets a shiny new title. And Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps takes on the beast of the high seas. Kizzy Schofield is standing by with your Hollywood headlines. I know, and I'm a little nervous. This is my first Hollywood headlines. Hi. Police in England are looking for people who vandalized a train seen in downtown Abbey. Officials say the historic train is in Pickering was found ransacked yesterday morning. Vandal smashed windows on seven of the eight train cars and plundered an onboard kitchen. The train dates back to 1930, and it's usually used for sightseeing tours. So if it looks familiar to you, maybe you were in it one time. But it also appeared in Abby and other TV shows and movies, including Testament of Youth. Hundreds of aspiring actors hoped Ben Stiller would offer them their breakout role when convicted killers Richard Matt and David Sweat escaped from New York's Clinton Correctional Facility in 2015. The story rocked the nation. Now Stiller hopes to turn that into a Showtime series. The series casting director held auditions in Pittsburgh, New York, or I'm sorry, in New York, looking for to fill hundreds of roles from the donut clerk, which could easily be me, to principal roles like the sergeant who brought David Sweat to justice. Wonder Woman is now the highest grossing film of the summer with $398 million from North American theaters and the sequel it's official. Warner Brothers is not saying much about the follow-up to the smash hit, but the studio did flash a title card with the words Wonder Woman 2 during its Comic-Con presentation on Saturday. There is no official word on whether or not Patty Jenkins will return uh, as the director, who, who will write the script, or even when the film might hit theaters, but we can't wait. The official trailer for the Lego movie, um, is it Ninjago? Is that it? Ninjago. Ninjago. Lego Ninjago movie was released during Comic Con this weekend, giving fans a preview of what to expect in the latest installment of the Lego movie. And unlike most animated movies, the Ninjago cast had the chance to record together, which actor Dave Franco says added a unique tone and offered plenty of opportunities for improvising. And though the action packed movie is full of laughs, the stars say it's, it has plenty of heart as well. And the movie opens in theaters on September 22nd. Olympian um, Michael Phelps fell just short in his highly anticipated race with a great white shark. The, tw uh, the 23 time gold medalist raced the shark on an episode of Discovery Channel's Shark Week last night. Phelps said that he had the shark, or that he and the shark were not in the water at the same time during the filming, but other sharks rubbed against the cage that he was swimming in. Wait, I just thought we heard that this wasn't a real shark. <laughs> That's what they told us. So what is, the, what, is the, what is the real deal? Was he not in the water at the same time or was it a fake shark? Last night's episode kicked off an eight-day Shark Week marathon, but Phelps will appear in another episode coming up in July. And is it a real shark? We need to find out. We need to get the best team on it. We got to Google. <laughs> We're getting answers. <laughs> yes, we are. Oh goodness! All right. Time now is.